A big colorful ball of plasma, slowly burning off gases heavier than helium, sometimes taking days for light to reach the Earth. That is a star. And welcome to Real Fast Science. There is a whole science behind the study of stars. But first, you need to know what a star is. 71% hydrogen and 21% helium is all space needs to create a fiery ball of awesomeness. A star's mass can be 10 times less than of the Earth's, to more than 93 times the size and mass of Jupiter, our largest discovered planet. And Kelvin is how astronomers measure the temperature of a star, and some can reach up to 50,000 Kelvins, or 2,285 degrees Fahrenheit. That is more than 50 times hotter than the Sun. The closest star to Earth and the other planets is the Sun. The Sun is what scientists call a red giant star, and like other red giants, the Sun has a very limited lifespan. But before the Sun even runs out of hydrogen to burn, its mass will decrease by more than 30%, throwing the Earth and many other planets out of orbit. But that's in 5 billion years. You will all be dead except me, because I can do stuff like that. The white stars you see at night are billions of miles away, and for the close ones, it takes up to 8 days for light to reach the Earth. And light travels at over 671 million miles an hour, or over 186,000 miles per second. Super fast. So some stars you see in the night could already be burnt out, but you just haven't noticed yet. And you may be wondering, what makes a shooting star? Well, a shooting star really isn't a star at all. It's a burning meteoroid entering Earth's or another planet's atmosphere. And that is all you really need to know about stars for now. The study of stars in space will never end, and neither will our curiosity about what's beyond our solar system. Thanks for watching this episode of Real Fast Science. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got something out of it. And you'll see me next Thursday.